Good day, this is Jane and uh, Sports in 5. I am Denise Walters and we bowl off with cricket news. Uh, Jamaican Chris Gale was fined but avoided suspension for making inappropriate comments to a female reporter in a live TV interview during a Big Bash League T20 match in Australia. After scoring 41 from 15 deliveries for the Melbourne Renegades in a win over the Hobart Hurricanes on Monday night, the former West Indies captain suggested to the television reporter Mel McLaughlin that the pair go out for a drink and made remarks about her appearance. He added, quote, don't blush baby, unquote, during an awkward pause in the interview. Renegades chief executive Stuart Coventry reacted by fining Gill 10,000 Australian dollars or 7,300 US dollars. A draw in the third test between Australia and West Indies at the SCG appears almost inevitable after the third day's play was abandoned without a ball being bowled. Persistent rain made it impossible for the players to take the field at all, making it just the third time in the past 20 years that a full day's play had been lost in a test in Australia. A double hundred from Hashim Hamla and Tiba Bovama's maiden test century saw South Africa continue to frustrate England in Cape Town. Captain Amla finally departed for 201 while Bovama made an unbeaten 102 as the Proteas declared in 627 for 7, two short of England's first innings total. Still on Cricket News, Matthew Hobden, an English cricketer regarded as one of the most talented up-and-coming players in the country, has died. He was 22. The England and Wales Cricket Board announced Hobden's death on Sunday. It didn't give a cause of death. Britain's Press Association reported that police in Scotland said Hobden's body was found at a property in Forest, Northern Scotland on Saturday. Officers are investigating the death and have said there are no suspicious circumstances so far. And Australia have pulled out of the Under-19 World Cup in Bangladesh, started on January 27 due to security concerns. Cricket Australia Chief Executive James Sutherland said the decision was taken after advice from the government stated that the threat to Australian interests in Bangladesh was as high as when the senior team had pulled out of their tour in October last year. The ICC has invited Ireland, who were runners-up in the qualifying tournament in Kuala Lumpur in October, to replace Australia in the tournament. Moving on to football, where in Monday night action, Montegabe United returned to the top of the Red Stripe Premier League RSPL with a 2 0 blanking of Tivoli Gardens. Both goals came in the first half, courtesy of Dwayne Ambusley in the 12th minute and the talisman Dino Williams in the 28th minute. Tivoli remains in 10th position. Now in a sports in five follow-up, Zinedine Zidane has officially been announced as Real Madrid's boss. The ex-Real midfielder, who is 43 years old, replaced Rafael Benitez on Monday. Zidane, a World Cup winner with France in 1998, coached Real's B-side prior to his promotion following Benitez's sacking. His first game in charge of the first team will be Saturday's La Liga match against the Deportivo La Coruña at the Bernabeu. And finally, Serena Williams and Maria Sharapova have fitness concerns ahead of this month's Australia Open after both pulled out of warm-up events. World number one Williams was troubled by a nagging knee injury and retired while trailing 7-5 to 1 to Australia's Jarmila Wolf in the Hopman Cup. Five-time Grand Slam winner Sharapova has withdrawn from the Brisbane International with an arm injury. World number two Simona Halep has also pulled out with an inflamed Achilles. The Australian Open begins on January 18. And those were these stories making sports in five. I am Denise Walters. Remember, you can watch our live stream at onesportmedia.com. This is JNN News Worth Watching.